Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll take a look at the Whirlwind Scorpius and it's falling apart. So, I didn't glue this together, the top canopy, and just in case. Alright, there goes my light. Alright. So, I'm going to put this off so it won't fall off. So it didn't give me any problems at all. It was a pretty easy build. Um, these things, the doors are not glued on because they're they're in there pretty tight, so they're it's all good. Um, so I didn't need it to warp anything. Um, well, a little warping of the of the doors so it'll fit. Um, but so far everything was pretty easy. Um, it was easy to build. Um, the only problem that I had was the top mounted turrets. Uh, it wouldn't sit down flat because you needed to make room for these things. So it'll just hit it when, um, when it try to rotate. So and that's why it's angled like this even though it's not pointing straight flat. But overall, um, this thing I know, um, came together pretty nicely. I really like the dozer blade that it had. Um, the simple smoke, smoke tags, stacks. Um, yeah, this thing, you need to warp this a little bit. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, I really like um, the launcher and everything. Looks really unique. Uh, if you've seen the missile launcher that came along with the Mark IV Space Marines. Uh, this is what it looks like, sort of like this front half. Um, so I'm just gonna paint this up, similar to the Red Scorpions um, relic, whirlwind Scorpius. And you no, know, can't wait to finally finish uh, to get more tanks from our army. And I hope you, I'll, I'll try to get everything showed up, uh, show you guys the progress I have and a few things I've added it's pretty soon so I hope you see that um, so thanks for joining my channel and this is the review for the Whirlwind Scorpius alright see you guys bye, -bye.